guys welcome back to the channel and before I get this one started man I just wanted to say a big shout out to all my brothers and sisters from team cap guys we freaking did it I was so freaking surprised when the reset rolled over today and Captain America actually won a faction war. This is the first time I've ever seen Cap win and I know this is an event that a lot of people don't care about but I still think it was pretty cool that Captain America finally won a faction war. So big shout out to all of you guys who are on team Cap. We finally freaking did it. Anyways. So for today, man, I wanted to share some gameplay with you guys using Kamala Khan or Miss Marvel in her Karuche or Karachi uniform. Now, when it comes to Kamala Khan, she's a character that I only ever use in Alliance Conquest. And the main reason I have this uniform is because the uniform bonus is actually really, really good. It's actually one of the best uniform bonuses. As you guys can see right here, 20% increase to HP, that is huge, and a 10% increase to all speeds, which is attack speed and movement speed. So definitely a big bump to her survivability, especially since she has a crazy four-star passive right here, similar to what Moon Knight has. And once she gets to tier two, it actually becomes exactly the same as Moon Knight. However, she does get a fraction of that heal at tier one, so that is good, whereas Moon Knight doesn't get any kind of healing at tier one natively right now outside of all that she's a decent character and in this uniform i've been able to solo relays in shadowland as well as world bosses but to be honest i don't really use her very often and that doesn't say she's a bad character it's just that i personally i'm not a big fan of her so if you guys invested in her there is stuff that she can do and i'm going to be showing you guys one of those today we're going to be soloing the blast relay that iron man blast relay that we get inside shadowland now, when it comes to a rotation with her, I generally open with the four skill because as you guys can see right here, it gives you a 20% increase to all attack, 20% increase to all defenses, and it's only on a nine second cooldown. So you can keep this up all the time. Granted, you have max skill cooldown, and that is great because her leadership is a defensive leadership. Apart from the four skill, I'll usually go four, then five, then three because three is the iframe, the only iframe in her kit. Then we'll go with two, for the stun which i didn't mention but the four has a stun on it so that is great it doesn't have a stun without this uniform keep that in mind and it also does not give her these um attack stat buff so i start the fight with the stun and the buff then the five then the three for the iframe then the two for another stun then the one then right back into the four and that's how i play her and i play her pretty aggressively to be honest but that might not be the best way to go about playing her so if you guys have a better way of playing her let me know in the comments because like i said i don't use her very often but when i do use her i just go offense i just smash 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 and she for the most part can get what i need her to get done i've actually soloed the sister grim relay with her i've soloed iron man relay and i've actually soloed i believe the rocket raccoon boss with her before haven't really tried her out much lately but i will definitely go back to showing her some love when i get the chance to do so let me go ahead and show you guys her gears everything is at 20 and the last gear slot is roll for skill cooldown right here in the details you guys can see she has 130 percent attack speed 53 percent crit rate 154 for critical damage 50 percent ignore defense and 50 percent skill cooldown as for the iso set i'm running power friendly hulk and that's how i have her attack speed maxed out as for the obelisk now it completely depends on your play style for me like i told you guys i play her pretty aggressively so that's why i have this damage proc right here however you probably should not do that you probably should go with max hp and if you need to ignore defense sure that's a good secondary stat you can also go double max hp or you could go max hp and critical damage and then you can go for something like invincibility to make sure that you actually get to capitalize on the fact that she has a heal when she gets below 30 percent because if you have the damage proc like me and let's say you get hit by something really hard and you go down to below 30 percent and they end up killing you before you get the heal not really that good so if you have that invincibility to kick in to make sure that you get the heal that might be a safer bet for you all right so let's go ahead and jump into shadowland and have a little bit of fun with miss marvel man Where are you hiding? Right here. Let's do it. Alright, Camilla. 
Let's kick some butt, girl. Get in that corner. See, this is why you want the invincibility, guys. Because she has the damage. It's clear to see she has the damage because of this uniform. Okay, Iron Man, you need to chill. You need to chill. Camilla smash, guys. Camilla smash. Under a minute. But she is built pretty damn well and because of that damage proc, her damage is amplified just a little bit. But I think invincibility is the way to go with her. But that's all I have to share for this one guys. Like always, thanks for watching. I will try my best to show her some more love because she is a decent character. And I will see you guys next time. Peace and love.